especially against the Drow Ranger, and this hero has been considered the Drow Ranger counter. Plus, when you look at the other side, they have no lockdown for the Slark. Oh yeah, the Willing Death comes through. Toronto, Tokyo, he's trying to do what he can to keep himself alive. The stick charges, can he get himself away? He can't. Between strong picks of the first blood there, Toronto, Tokyo is way out of position. And that backhand slap. We're seeing Toronto, Tokyo even uh, even better in the lane with Pure. But for now, he is going to be making these slight mistakes that twice will cost him his life. But at the end of the day, he, at least he forces the enemies to use a lot of spells. And then uh, Pure can farm. Yeah, and H2O, they're getting a little... They're ganking me. What are you doing against position 5? Go and die there. What the hell? And he's like, yeah, my... Uh, my cores, they want me to die, and he's taking this role quite literally because he is uh, 0 and 4, and Navi have uh, have uh, gotten only 4 heals. Just his TP and in here. Does he want to try and make a move? Yeah, they're going to try Maybe. and go here. Lycan still has that transformation. He's going to be able to get the shifts off in the ice shards. Doesn't trap him in, and the wolves, at least the wild This is dangerous. Will be Navi are dead. Three. Yeah, they're going to be trapped in. And Vtune, again, no more ability. This yeah, you look at this, the Ancient Black Dragon, the transformation comes out here, the shape shift from Nightfall. The Mike going to be on the back line, so Save can get himself away from this one. Chakram's going to fly through, but Save, he's still, still alive for now. And they're going to be able to get the kill to Sweden Strong. Lays is chasing out. They do eventually get the kill. Eye Shards takes him down here by the river, though. Ooh, save. Do they have the engagement coming out to Nikki Cool? Nikki Cool, he's gonna be south. He doesn't have that BKB now as well. Aishas comes out, but that's a double pounce from Pure. So Pure will be getting involved here. Gets himself a kill, a second kill on the board on the Slark. And now they have that exorcism up. They've got the kill onto the Tusk. Do they want to go for even more? Sweden Strong, he gets that toss back. Pure though, Aishas flies he's through. Going he's nowhere. followed by the Rubik. Yeah, can they get in range of the Telekinesis? It is down for the next five seconds, but they have that range. Pure, he's gonna open. Game now with this Aegis. With the Aghanim Scepter going towards the shot as well. Not going to be too far away from that. The gold needed about 200 gold and pure. He wants to go for more. He actually hits it onto Nikki Cool. Nikki Cool going to be in trouble. Turns around with the tag team, but the silence comes through. So no snowball, no ice shards just yet. And the chase on from pure. Pure is going to be able to pick up another kill here in this game. 3 0 and 2. And with the shard that comes out, they might be able to pop this Aegis now onto the onto the Slark, but the Telekinesis onto the Draw Ranger, just bringing them right up close here. So Pure, he's got a front row seat to get right clicks coming through onto the Draw Ranger, and Draw at least gets the post staff back to the base. But his other teammate's not going to be so lucky. Nicky Cool taken down again. That is the die back coming through, and bet, boom, they're just starting to take over this base. Yep, they uh, they don't need to stop, right? That no one is even close to dying. You are getting close to it a couple of times, but he still has the death shroud, so really his life is not going to be taken. And this game one is just over. And GPK, they're waiting for his rampage. Oh man, there's just such nice teammates. <laughs> yeah, oh, Toronto. Be... Did he take uh, it? What? Yeah, yeah, because he's like I'm the one true mid laner, and that is just <laughs> the uh, the. But now everyone else is is playing it on a uh, on a high level. And Vtune usually he is passive, right? Mm -hmm. Then goes into the jungle. But with he's going to be low on life. And we've talked about the Tusk um, in this lane up against the Lash. You know, being able to close that gap, get on top of the Lash early on in the lane, it does offer some kill potential. Monkey doesn't have the mana for the main vault, but the rotation comes through. Toronto, Tokyo, folks do get dropped. Can he get himself away from this one? No. Trapped in the ice shards and Sweden Strong from a distance, just looking to do the damage. And Nikki Cool comes in, war is punch, gets the kill. Ben here from the side of Navi. They're happy enough to give this tower away. Yeah, they they understand that it's very hard to kill the DK, but it's easier to kill the Lina. That's why they're going for pure. Yeah, even V2 going to be TP into the pure. Can he get himself away? The Sprout comes out. Laguna Blade blinks. That's just it for Navi. You won't blinks. You won't be able to jump. You need to kill pure over and over again before he finishes his BKB, and it's a long time until he will. Yep, Ice Shards connects, he's underneath the T2 tower, any TP is going to come in onto this, but the Ice Shards into the spear, going to be there to get the kill onto Pure, the Dragon Knight, he just cancels that TP, knows it's going to be completely useless there, Pure is the better target. This is the, the dive through, can they get themselves on top of GPK? It looks like GPK, the arena comes through, and not going to be able to sustain with the Bloodstone odds, but the fight break can the BKB comes out from Pure, so he's going to be able to deal with this spear coming through, can he take down, well there's going to be the sharpshooter as well, but undying, not dead just yet, the Mars Tombstone has been dropped, I think the arena was just this a lane to onto the Tombstone, yeah, now Pure, his BKB's worn off, the Laguna Blade was stolen, featured, he gets the kill onto Pure, they take down save, Nightfall has to pop the BKB of his own, can't lose a fight, but that wasn't really a fight, that was not 
Navi just poking, poking, poking until you have nothing left and then finishing you off. And it all happened because Lathe put such a great arena down. Even though I disagree the way there, the, the tombstone wasn't getting attacked because it was definitely inside it, it of the in. arena. Yeah. It was in, right? But uh, extra sense of the look at the hook coming through for Toronto Tokyo underneath the tower. The cogs get dropped, and the LSA is to do. They get a kill to beat you now as well with the Laguna Blade. No. The Saurid, they have that sustain, and the Laguna Blade still there on to Sweden Strong. Now gets to split Earth. But KB's bars can be a little bit trouble to snowball though. They get the dive on to save, save, trying to do what he can with the chart shoots for the BKBs for lasers as well as Nicky Cruel. But they get Here that pure, gone. pure, he's just dead, he gets caught out, the split earth comes out from the Rubik, and they have enough to take him down. And now Toronto Tokyo, the telekinesis. Oh, the that split earth. Oh god, he connects! It was onto the creep, but it connects the stun onto V Tune, V Tune! He's not gonna be able to get himself out, even with the Aegis here. BKB DP? Yeah, he has to, he has to go for this. Do we have the timing on this on the stun? Lena is there. He's popping the BKB, he's trying to get himself away, they don't have the damage to take him down, but the Aegis will be popped. He had BKB in two seconds and teleport in five, and that was just enough, you know, there's cogs waiting for you, but you're spamming the BKB, you get it out, and pure, he's Alina, so without the procs of the Maelstrom, the damage output just isn't... Coming through, he separates from the rest of the team, v he's trying to do his best to get the TP and do the damage, Nicky Kill with the BKB, the arena... He didn't manage to kill him! The LSA, they don't have enough damage to take him down just yet, Snowball, v he gets to kill into Toronto, Tokyo, but pure, he's just being right put down as well, they get the cleanup onto the Alina, and the Alina balls out, no buyback available here for him, and the chase is on for the rest of the side. It is uh, now much tougher for Navi to just go around the map that aggressive and they found the Tusk. Yeah, but he's got the full stuff down to the low ground. Sharpshooter still comes in, but he's gonna be away. He's gonna be fine as Toronto Tokyo, the arena comes out and they get onto Pure and again Pure, he didn't get that BKB up, but now the Laguna Blade comes through, rips through Lays, Nicky Cool, can he get himself away? The Hex is gonna be there after the BKB. Really good engagement coming through from Navi, but they just couldn't do can definitely help to put you in a better position. GPK, they're gonna try and make the move, get the jump here onto the Undyne, but on the back line, Nicky Cool's gonna be in, he's actually inside the cogs here, and he might not be able to get himself out, so they might be able to get two quick picks on the side of Bedroom, but Lays, he gets a kill onto GPK, Nicky Cool, can he get himself away with the Trixus cloak? He's looking to get that run being where come from. High ground Toronto Tokyo is trying to look with the rocket flips, but it looks like the dive's gonna come in with now as well. Toronto Tokyo with his own BKB. The cogs get dropped inside the arena. Nikki Cole as well as Lays. Gonna try and walk themselves over this. The back lines. It's gonna be a lot of damage. GPK. He takes down Sweden Strong. The Laguna Blade comes out now as well. He's gonna have to take down Lays. Lays. He's gonna be taken down here. He has to use that buyback. Yeah, three buybacks committed already until the end. H2O being caught up. We'll say they wanna go on to B-Tune here. B-Tune Hookshot comes in. They're gonna be able to control him now as well. Even with that load absorb, they get the kill. Everybody in the Sun of Navi has to buy back. He's going to be keeping himself right back backs. into this, but yeah, the Bushwhack's not going to be a hit, but GPK wants to come in. Telekinesis back lines. They've got the to get back. That's such a good setup now as well. They're going to be able to get on top of Sweden Strong. These are three heroes going to be going through here as V-Tune. He tries to go for that TV, but the hook shot from downtown comes in. And this is going to be a Roche over for Beth. But did he even Roche? Did he just want to push in the lanes? I thought they were just gonna go end the game, they, but they know this game is now over. You have 100 seconds with these heroes, like uh, a Lesh that's uh, level 25, okay, level 20. <laughs> no, it's it's way too late and it's way too risky to be found in farming pure. Like, what the hell are you doing? I was, uh, yeah, that was weird, but yeah, he does go for the death. So, he just wants to push this one as fast as possible and this is gonna be uh, everything falling down so quickly. Navi, they were so close. They don't want to call GG, but there's nothing they can do about it, really. Yeah, and those five buybacks coming out around the Roche fight, it's, like you say, there's nothing they can do that. There's no fear of surviving, even in H2O. Well, he jumps in, he just says, okay, complete the set. It's going to be GG, and it is going to be bad boom. Get, again, going to switch a long game in game number two. But they just have the stamina to see this one out, take a really good fight against Navi, and push it through 2-0 in this series. Bad boom have this one weakness that some of the... Uh, 